This is Euclid Book 2, Proposition Number 1. Okay? Now, first of all, Euclid gives you a line. It's a straight line. It's called A. Then he gives you a much longer line called BC. And then he wants you to plot points on BC, anywhere on BC. And the first one will be point D, and the second one will be point E. And what he says is that the rectangle contained by A, B, C, okay, equals the rectangle contained by A, B, D, plus A by D, E, plus A by E, C. Now, how does he go about proving this? Okay. The first thing he has you do is he wants you to draw a line here. Okay, this is going to be BG, and it's going to be the same size as A, and on top of that, and bear with me, this is a lot of stuff here. Okay, it's also going to be at right angles to BC. Okay, so this line is not only going to be equal to B, to, to, BG is not only going to be equal to A, but it's going to be at right angles to BC. Alright, then he wants you to draw a line called GH. This is G, this is H, and it has to be parallel to BC. Okay, and then he wants you to draw DK, EL, and CH. And all three of these lines have to be parallel and equal in size to BG. All right. Now, BGHC. BGH, well, it's not BGH. Yes, it is. BGHC. Okay, here's BGHC. It is the rectangle A by BC because it is contained by BG and BC and we already said that BG is line A. Okay? BGKD is the is the rectangle A by BD because it is contained by BD and BG and BG just happens to be the same length as A. And then he goes on. He has uh, Rec uh, parallelogram D K L E, okay, and then he goes on to say that it's A is contained by A and D E because it is co being contained by D E and D K and D K happens to be equal to A. Whew. Then he goes on one more time and he says, um, We have a rectangle E L H C E L H C and it's contained by A and E C because it's contained by E C and E L and of course E L is equal to A. Therefore, the rectangle A by B C, this whole area, is contained by the sum of B G D K D K L E and E L H C. Okay, so these three parallelograms combined have the area of B G H C, or you could state it the the uh, area contained by B C and A. And by the way, A of course is equal to B G. And that's your proof. The most stupid proof I've ever seen in my life, but there it is. Later on, we will be proving how to take a rectangle and turn it into a square. So this is kind of important for you to know now, because eventually that's what we're going to do. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.